This video is to introduce the very settings of Madrina Infusion Pump. Model name, Unifusion VP50 Pro. This is the home page. There are six boxes on the screen. Most, settings, general, patient, records, and system. In last video, we have introduced most. Next, let's look at other boxes one by one. Settings. We could set drug library, KVO rate, bolus rate, IV brands, DPS, occlusion pressure, pressure unit, bubble size, pump idle alert, finish pre-alarm, drop sensor, drop sensor level, micro mode, reset total volume, and door detect level. Total 15 items under this setting. First, drug library. This model can store more than 2,000 drugs in the system. The drug information can be found in commonly used and others. To edit drug library, select drug library maintenance, enter password, Here we can rename the drug group. For example, rename drugs as I rename others as ICU. Now the drug group name has been changed. To edit individual drugs, select the drug group, select the drug. Here we can edit the drug name, concentration unit, concentration, and other information listed here. And last, save the entity information. KVO rate. We could set the rate from 0.1 to 5 ml per hour. Bolus rate. The default bolus rate is 1,500 ml per hour. You can set another bolus rate as needed. For example, 1,000. IV brands. We could choose the brands of IV set under using, and the IV set brand will be shown on the title bar. We can store up to 20 brands of IV set into a system. DPS, dynamic pressure system. When it is on, the pump will prompt alarms when occlusion happens or is about to happen, and when there is a sudden drop in pressure. Let's check it out. Turn to page of infusion mode. Rate mode. Set the VTPI and rate. Start infusion. We can see the dynamic pressure status from the pressure bar on the screen. Now we press the infusion line to simulate occlusion. The pump prompt alarm and the infusion stops. Press OK. Go back to infusion mode stage and we can restart the infusion. This is how DPS function works. The DPS function is only available in advanced models. It is not available in standard models. Next. Occlusion pressure. This model has 12 occlusion pressure levels from 75 to 900 mm of mercury. We can select which level to trigger the alarm. Besides, occlusion pressure levels can be customized. Pressure unit. 
There are four different pressure units for choosing. Bubble size. In this setting, we can select single bubble size or accumulative bubble size that would trigger the alarm. For single bubble size, there are seven different levels for choosing. Also, we could select accumulative time and accumulative sensitivity that would trigger the alarm. The pump provides multiple options for the professionals based on different patient population and different clinical situation. Pump idle alert. There are six different intervals for choosing. When the pump is not operated for a certain period of time, it prompts alert to remind the user. Finish pre-alarm. Choose the time that the pump gives alarm before the infusion is about to finish. Drop sensor. Drop sensor is an optional accessory to the pump. It helps to monitor the drip rate and trigger alarm when it is empty reservoir. When drop sensor is in use, select drop sensor on. Drop sensor level. There are three levels for choosing. Micro mode. The purpose of micro mode is to increase infusion safety by setting the limit of max flow rate, used more often in neonates and pediatrics. We can select it on or off. By selecting on, set the max flow rate. By setting this number, the flow rate under all eight infusion modes is not allowed to exceed this flow rate. Reset total volume. If selecting yes, the data of infused volume will be cleared. Door detect level. There are three levels for choosing. Now we finish the introduction of settings. Let's take a look at general. The first item is date and time. Set the correct date, time, and your preferred format here. Second, brightness. There are 10 brightness levels for choosing. Third, sound. There are also 10 levels of sound volume for choosing. Fourth, screen lock. Choose how long you would like to lock the screen from 15 seconds to 30 minutes. This is to avoid unintentional or improper operation. Night mode. You can select it on or off. If on, choose the night brightness and the time for the night mode. Battery capacity display. Select it on. The screen title bar will show the remaining time that the pump can operate based on current battery's power supply. Nurse call. Choose it on where this function is needed. Nurse call alarm level. There are three alarm levels for choosing. Network. This is for setting the connection between the pump with other pumps, docking station, or infusion management system. We have detailed instruction about network connection. Please contact with us if required. Next, let's look at patient. There are two pages here which you can edit the basic information about the patient. 
records. First, history entries. The pump can store more than five thousand records of previous operation data, showing dates, time, infusion parameters, and operation details. The data is first in, first out. Last therapies. The pump can store twenty records of last therapies. Choose either one. It jumps into the screen of infusion mode with all infusion parameters ready. Start infusion. This can save time for the user if they just need to apply the same infusion as previous infusion date. Export history record. The history records can be exported to computer by using a USB cable. Clear all records. Enter password 3312. All data of history entries and last therapies will be cleared. The last boss is system. First, language. There are 8 languages on the display, but we have more than 12 languages available. Please check with us whether your language is available or not. Factory default. This item is rarely used by end users. Please leave it to the service engineer when repair is needed. Version. Here it shows the serial number, the software version, and device version of the pump. Maintenance Enter password There are different settings under this item. First, brand maintenance. We could add, delete, and calibrate infusion set brands. We will explain how to add an infusion set brand and calibrate it in next video. Sensor information. Here we could find current settings of different sensors and modules. Sensor calibration and memory information. Please leave them to the service engineer when repair is needed. Brand select reminder. By selecting on, the pump will ask the user to select the infusion set brand after the infusion set is installed. Door detect. Selecting on the micro door detection sensor here inside the pump door will detect whether the door is well closed and locked. If not, it will trigger alarm. Pressure sensor. Here we could find the pressure values. The last two settings are the maintenance period and last maintenance date, where we could find maintenance information about this pump. Now we have finished the introduction of various settings of Madrina infusion pump.